Hello my future RN friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, welcome to my channel and my name is Beth and I have been making videos that are very helpful for your future ATITs exam. So if you don't, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you will be notified for my future videos. So let's get started. My f first um, formula is the area of a square. To find the area of a square, we have to use the formula A is equal to A squared, where A represents the, si the side. So um, I have a li an illustration of a square and it is labeled A, which represents the side, and then that letter D uh, represent the diameter but you don't need it okay so to find the area of a square you just use the formula a is equal to a squared okay our next formula is to find the perimeter of a triangle to find the perimeter of a triangle we have to um, use the formula P which is the perimeter is equal to a plus b plus c where a represents the side b represents the base and c represents the side so two side and one base for the perimeter of a triangle um, you can also see it in the illustration then our next formula is the perimeter of a square to find the perimeter of a square we have this following formula, P is equal to 4 times A. So since a square has 4 um, congruent sides, you just multiply 4 times A, which um, again, A represents the side. Then, to find the perimeter of a rectangle, we have the following formula, P is equal to 2 times length plus width, okay, where length, L represents the length and W represents the width. So this is the square and this is the um, illustration, W on the short side, which is the width, and length on the longest side. Okay, to find the perimeter of a trapezoid, we have the fo following formula. P is equal to A plus B plus C plus D, where A and B represent the side, and C and D represent, i oh, sorry, where A and B represent the base, and C and D represent the side. So this is a picture of trapezoid on your right side. Okay, next is to find the area of a strength of a circle. To find the area of a circle, we have the formula A is equal to pi r squared. So to find the area of a circle, we have the constant pi, which um, is equivalent to 3.1416. But during your T's exam, they only use two digits, I mean two decimal places like 3.14 instead of 3.1416. Or I could be wrong, but yeah, pi um is equal to 3.1416 and then if the radius is given you just have to square it and then multiply by the pi then you will come up with the area of a circle a for area and r for radius then to find the circumference of a circle this is more important because this could um this came out in my um exam so to solve for the circumference of a circle we have the following formula c is equal to 2 pi r so 2 is already given which is constant and pi is again 3.1416 and radius um, you should be able to find it in the problem itself and then you can solve for the circumfer circumference of a circle by using the formula c time c is equal to 2 pi r Next, to find the area of a triangle, 
we have to use the formula A is equal to H subscript B times base over 2, where B is equal to the base and H subscript B is height. As you see in the illustration, they use the, the highest point of the triangle as the height. Um, it's in the middle. Okay, so that's how you solve for the area of a triangle. So to find the area of a rectangle, we will use the formula A is equal to, I mean, A equals W times L, where W is the width and L is the length. So you just multiply the length and the width, and then you can come up with the area of a rectangle. Okay, to find the area of a parallelogram, we have to use the following formula. A is equal to B base times height, or BH, okay, where B is the base and H is the height. So this is a picture of a parallelogram. The slanting side um, is, the, um, is the area, or it's the side, and then you can see the letter H in here, which is the height and then the base is on the top. Okay, to find the area of a trapezoid, we have to use the formula A is equal to A plus B over 2 times height, where A is equal to the base, and B is the base, and H is the height. So this is the trapezoid. And to find the surface area of a cube, we have to use the formula A is equal to 6 times a squared, where a represents the edge. Okay, now to find the volume of a cube, we have to use the formula V is equal to a cube. Okay, you just have to, you know, multiply the edge three times to come up with the um, volume of a cube, like for example, if the area of a cube is 6, so you just have to multiply 6 times 6 times 6, and then it will give you the area of a cube. I mean, sorry, the volume of a cube. Okay, so to find the surface area of rectangular prism, we have this following formula. A equals 2 times width times length plus height times length plus height times width. So L represents the length, W represents the width, and H represents the height. This, um, I'm sure this will rarely come out in your T's exam, but it's always good to know. Okay, to find the volume of rectangular prism, we have the following formula. V equals WHL. So I would remember it this way. V wheel. So... Uh, where W represents the width, H represents the height, and L represents the length. Okay, and then we have the surface area of a cylinder. To find the surf surface area of a cylinder, we have the following formula. A equals 2 pi R H plus 2 pi R squared. Yeah, this is a little bit complicated, and I don't think this will come out, but it's always good to know and, you know, refresh your knowledge on how to solve the area of the surface area of a cylinder, where R is the radius and H is the height. The rest of them are constant. For pi, you have 3.1416, and for, yeah, that's it. And there's two is, always, is already given. So remember this formula to so solve for the surface area of a cylinder. So for the volume of a cylinder, we have the formula V equals pi R squared H, where R represents the radius and H represents the height. And pi is always constant. Okay, for the surface area of a prism, this one is not really, really gonna come out, I don't think, but... Like I said, it's always good to know these formulas. And surface area equals 2B plus pH. So now P 
is the perimeter of the base and B should be the base and H is the height. That's for the surface area of a prism. Then we have the surface area of a sphere. This will likely will come out. So to solve the surface area of a sphere, we have the formula A is equal to 4 pi r squared, where r is the radius, and it's going to be given in the problem as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching my videos, and if you like this video, please don't forget to give a thumbs up, and if not, then you can always do the thumbs down. <laughs> so this is Beth from Reality Life Series, and... I would also recommend you guys to subscribe to my channels because I will be making more helpful videos for your future ATITs exam. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!